Hi guys, Sean here. This is just a quick RPG Maker VX Ace tutorial and what we're going to be concentrating on today is player transparency issues. Sometimes when you're switching from human controlled player movements to possibly a cutscene, what you want is to not have the human controlled player in the scene. I mean this is the sort of thing whereby if you're doing a big epic story you might want to cut away from the main characters and the last thing you want is your human controlled player appearing in your cutscene when you don't want them there. Normally what happens is you transfer the player from the human controlled player moment straight to the cutscene but there is a split second delay and in your cutscene you're left with the human controlled player still there. So let's go ahead and take a wee look at exactly what I'm talking about. Here we have the main character about to be told a story. Now our cutscene will be that story, so the human control player won't be there. And here's what normally happens. There you go. It's just a split second delay and a transparency, which you know you can't have. So we're going to take a look at how to solve that. Okay, first things first. You want to go to your first screen. So that's the screen with the human control player. It has to be there. Now, click on where all you click on your event where everything's happening. Now, before it says transfer player, what you want to do is insert. Uh, sorry, uh, what you want to do is right click insert. And number two, fade out screen. Okay, then apply. And then, okay. Then you want to go to your second map. Now this is a map where the transparency issues are happening. Now this is a cutscene. You don't want the human control player to be visible, but he is visible for a couple of seconds. So click on your event. Now at this point you're making him transparent. Okay, you've already done this. You put your set player move route to transparent. If you don't know how to do that, um, what you do is you go into number two set move route. Make sure it says player and transparency on. Okay, apply. Now, what you want to do is this should be the first thing that happens. So, right click, insert, and click fade in screen. Apply. Okay. Now, let's do a wee tester and see if that's working. Let me tell you a story, blah blah blah, click. Beautiful, beautiful. So there you go guys, that's how you switch from human control player to a cutscene. Thanks very much.